this is not going to be good at all for your Edoche because it seems like Mr. Emmanuel Opasi did not come the last time he came. This time he came really, really prepared and also has gained knowledge on what he will do to retrieve back his son. Now he does not just have only the support of elders in council, but also has involved the law into this particular matter. Hmm. He has brought in strong evidence and proof that is going to make everyone believe that he is the true father to star DK. Hmm. Yol Edoche should really, really be prepared because Mr. Opasi came in prepared also for both him and Judy Austin. The last, the way they chased him the last time is not going to be the same as now. As now, he has now gained support, knowledge, and also involved the law in the particular matter. So before I forge on ahead, let me welcome you all back to my channel at G Central, where we give you Obonge gist and update about the entertainment industry. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, smash on that subscription button in front of you and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, like our videos also and come down to the comment section. Let me know what your views are concerning this particular news. So, to all my subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you to every single one of you. Let me forge on ahead with the news that I have for this hour. Hmm. You know, we treated about Stadike, which is the which is now the rising issue between Yol Edoche, Judy Austin, and Mr. Obasi. The last time Mr. Obasi came, it actually came with full force, as everyone was shocked to the appearance of Mr. Obasi, a man who came to claim that he is the husband to Judy Austin. After much findings and research, we now knew that yes, Mr. Obasi is the husband to Judy Austin. After showing us proof of wedding pictures and pictures between the both of them in the past. Now, when Mr. Obasi came to claim ownership of Stadike, Hmm. He was chased away like a little boy out of the situation. But now, Mr. Obasi is fully prepared. Like I said, fully, fully prepared. He does not, he does not just have the support of elders in council, but has also involved his lawyer into this particular matter. And according to Mr. Obasi, he is going to take back his son, Tadike, as he also he has brought in proof so that validates these um, allegations. <laughs> Mr. Opasi really, really came prepared. Imagine, he has the support of um, elders in council. He also has um, support of um, his lawyers. His lawyers are making papers. They are fighting this matter deep 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 and deep so your edoche should really really be prepared for mr obasio he did not come the way he came the last time now he is fortified like he is ready for anything that your edoche and judy austin wants to do but according to him he is not leaving this case until he goes back with his son star dk nothing and nobody is going to stop him from taking what rightful belongs to him and which is Tadike. We all know that Judy Austin has children for Mr. Opasi, two girls for that matter, which she left behind to go and follow you on Edoche. Now, Mr. Opasi brought in validating proofs, like he brought in his own evidence to show that Stadike belongs to him. Even people on the social media page have been all commenting because if you look at the resemblance of that boy and that of your edoche and um mr obasi you would know that mr obasi mr obasi and 
Stadike have a striking resemblance, unlike Yol Edoche. If you look at Yol Edoche children, you could see that yes, these are the children to Mr. Yol Edoche. It is either they have his nose or they have his um, standing position or his face. But for this Tadike, it is completely off, like he does not have any resemblance to Yol Edoche. But what keep baffling me, or what I want to really understand, is why is Yol Edoche fighting this matter to this point? A man who has four beautiful children, but still yet chasing after one. Hmm. I don't really know, but Mr. Obasi, what I know is that Mr. Obasi is not going anywhere without him taking custody of his son, Stadike. Yes, because according to him, you, um, traditionally, Mr. Yo, Mr. Obasi has the right, like he is the father to um, Stadike. Now, even if you want to keep traditional means aside, Yol Edoche, who has refused to do paternity tests or DNA tests for Stadike, also, Mr. Obasi said the only way he will believe it is if. Yol Edoche agrees to do a paternity test between him, himself, Mr. Yol Edoche, and Stadike. That is the way, that is one way he can prove himself that yes, he is the father to Stadike. Imagine a man who is requesting for the paternity test of his son with so much bravery and also encouragement. <laughs> no fear at all. But Yol Edoche has been finding all means and way to advert this paternity test whatsoever. I don't know if it's Judy Austin that told him that there was there was no need of paternity test or Judy did a fake paternity test and gave to Yol Edoche. That is something we don't really know for now. But Mr. Obasi has requested for the paternity test of Stadike so that they will know who the father rightfully is. Because according to this Mr. Obasi, he said if he can count properly, um, nine months ago, him, Judy Austin was still staying in his house. At that time, even before she announced that um, she and Yol Edoche, and, um, he, Judy Austin was staying in his house all those while. And <laughs> for a man and a woman saying this, as he also claimed that they had something going on then. And also, before you know it, nine months time, Judy Austin was pregnant and gave birth. He was quite suspicious of all her actions because he was not getting the um, the support and the love he was he usually get from um, Judy Austin. Everything just changed. And before you know it, he knew that Judy Austin was seeing Yol Edoche. He raised alarm and Judy Austin ran out of the house to meet Yol Edoche. Hmm. When Judy gave birth, Mr. Obasi also came back to ask for the child. But Judy Austin laid him off that he is not going to see Star DK, that the boy does not belong to him but instead to your edoche <laughs> papa wege piki was just so confused because he was like how is he not the father of the boy according to him if he calculates correctly they had something before nine months or ten months after star dk was given birth so what is now the issue mr opasi is not going anywhere without him validating the partnership of Stadike as he is now prepared and fully capable to fight for his child Stadike. Judy Austin should go and give the man his son at least stop parading another man's son as your as another man's son because the father is still healthy standing and kicking fighting for his right and also paternity to his son now he has involved the law that is one good step for mr obasi because the court is going to also help him fight this matter and he is going to get what he what rightfully belongs to him from judy austin and yon edochen
Hmm. It is going to be a sorrowful one for Judy Austin when the result is finally out. Because at that time, let us know if Yol Edoche is going to come back to his senses and also do the rightful thing he needs to do. Send Judy Austin out of his life. A woman that has built this relationship with lies and distrust. Hmm. So my people, you guys have heard the news of this are uh, Mr. Obasi has now involved the court or the law in this matter, not just the council of elders. So thank you for your time. I really appreciate you. Come down to the comment section. Let me know what your views are concerning this particular news. Thank you and God bless you. Have a nice day.